So I wanted to talk about transporting your camera equipment. Obviously your camera equipment is very delicate. And if you're gonna be hiking or riding a bike on a mountain trail or doing any outdoor activity and you wanna take your camera with you, then obviously you're gonna to have to make sure that it's properly protected. So I did my research and I was able to find on Amazon this backpack that I'll put the link in the description below. And as you can see, I've been able to attach my tripod below. That's one of the things I really like about this model. They have the straps right here for attaching my tripod. And they sent this cover. I'm not sure what this is for, but I'm thinking maybe it's to protect the backpack. For example, if it starts to rain, you could just drag this over. So that's how I used it. And I, I think it's, it's very smart. So let's just dive into the backpack and see all the things I've been able to do. So for example, right here, I have my filters. I have my solar filter for my Nikon camera. I have my variable ND filter and I have my polarizing filter. So I was able to fit all of that inside this pocket on the outside of the camera. We zip that up and we go over here and see right here I have something I'll tell you what that is later on but let's just go over here and of course I have my water have to keep hydrated if you're gonna do an outdoor activity and we have the nice mesh pocket right here on the side for that so let's open that zipper and then and here you can see I've been able to put a lot of stuff inside this bag. Now here I have my Mavic 2 drone, my Mavic Pro 2 drone. And there's a strap that comes with the case. It has a Velcro that sticks to this very plush lining. It's very protective lining, capable of protecting your camera equipment nice and thick, rubbery. And then you have this nice microfiber right here to, to not scratch up your equipment. So I have my drone, which is a Mavic Pro 2. I have a battery that's inside the drone right now. And basically I have four additional batteries right here. So you see below that there's a battery and below that there's another battery. And I also have my ND filters for my drone. So that was able to fit. Over here I have all the accessories I have the controller for my drone and I have all the accessories and basically these accessories like this is the mount or the the bracket for holding my tablet and of course the tablet allows me to see what a drone is seeing and speaking of tablet <laughs> right here inside the flap is a pocket where I can keep my my tablet so that's that's really neat so I really like this all these features about this this backpack so we close that up and if we come over here then for my Nikon P950 I have the remote I have my extra batteries and I have memory cards and all of this fit right here and of course there's space for more small stuff to go in but I don't have anything else with me right now uh, technically if I really wanted to I could probably put all of this stuff right here beside the batteries and then I could probably add another battery or two right here for my drone. But if I'm on the road and I'm going to be taking my drone and I'll be riding my bike or doing stuff like that, I'm probably not going to be using the drone that much, especially if I have my P950. So I think five batteries, that's enough. I can get, you know, probably an average of about 20 minutes flying time on the drone. Uh, a little bit more if conditions are good because some of these batteries are relatively new so if we're talking about 20 minutes multiplied by five then basically we're talking about an, an hour and 20 minutes and frankly I don't think I'll be needing that much but the key thing here is that here in this slot right here I can put my Nikon Coolpix P950 very comfortably well padded and 
this is ideal and when I travel to Texas later on this year to do the to, to record the solar eclipse definitely I'll be taking this with me I may not be taking the drone so later on I'll be showing per perhaps a different configuration whereby I'll be replacing all the drone stuff with other devices that will help me to film or photograph that solar eclipse and as I mentioned before at the bottom I have my tripod so this is a really really nice backpack and right here I have my my registration for my drone as well as my pilot's license if you're flying a drone in the United States uh, whether it's for commercial or recreational reasons you need to go you need to take a test to pass that exam so that you can be flying illegally uh, even if you're flying a drone that's under 250 grams it doesn't have to be registered but you still have to take the exam to show that you're competent to fly so remember that so that's it folks this bag this backpack is just absolutely wonderful and now that we've discussed how practical this backpack is let me just go take a ride right now i'm gonna snap some pictures with my p950 so another thing i forgot to mention is that right here you probably realize that the remote and the batteries and so on are loose and they could probably move around there are two ways to fix that one, you can use uh, one of the partitions that came with this. I have no idea what I did with it, <laughs> but you can probably put that on top. Or you could just put it in a little bag with a bubble wrap like this, and then you can just stuff it in, and basically that would prevent the movement. So this bag is complete. I have no complaints, but I wish I could, I'm not sure what I did with this, this other piece like this that does a separation because basically what I could do is just put it on top. And of course the Velcro will stick to this material right here and that will just keep it enclosed and prevent it from moving around. But my fault for losing that is probably somewhere at home. I'll have to go find that.